it sound like I'm ready? You just woke me up. So get the fuck up. We don't get the money for Bruno today. We're fucked. Where the hell are we gonna get our hands on 55 grand, huh? I don't know. We sure as hell ain't gonna find it laying around in bed. I got something for starters. A job from Eddie with a big payout. No shit. Yeah, I'll pick you up in a few minutes. So get dressed, grab a gun, and wait for me outside. I'll tell you more in the car. This better not be one of your brilliant ideas, Joe. Hey, I'm not in the mood. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to snap at you. I'm still half asleep over here. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So you in or not? Sure, why not? How long till you get here? I'm calling from the gun shop around the corner. I'll be at your place in a minute. All right, I'll wait for you out back. I'll see you soon. Hey, what's with the fancy wheels? Eddie gave it to us just for this job. Nice, huh? You drive. My head's still pounding from last night. We're going to Greenfield. Guess you hit the sauce pretty hard, too, huh? Yeah, I couldn't sleep either. Nothing a bottle of scotch couldn't fix, though. Head over to Greenfield. So now can you tell me what this is all about? We're just gonna drive there, pop some guy, and drive away. Should be a piece of cake. Why? Eddie said it's a favor for some family from another city. Unfinished business. He gave me this envelope with all the instructions. Said it's gotta be clean, and it's gotta be done today. Why the hell doesn't the other family just do it themselves? Eddie said they've been looking for this guy for a while, and they just found him. They're afraid that if it ain't done right away, the guy's gonna disappear again. Here, here's a picture of him. What'd this guy do? Says here he ratted his family out to the feds. Guy's got a coming to him then. But wait a minute. If he cooperated with the feds, that means he was under protection, right? What if he still is? Even if he is, we're getting paid a few grand for the job. So it's more than worth the risk. How'd you say so? Hey, we need every penny we can get right now, right? So after we finish this job, we'll split up and look for other work. All right. Says here they want us to give him a message before we do it. Here, here it is. Okay, got it. Hey, if you see Eddie later, not a word about yesterday. We was never there. Last chink we saw was delivering egg foo young. You get it? Yeah, who do you think I am? Some kind of retard. Jury's still out on that one, pal. Just making sure you don't slip up, that's all. Pursuit of a speeding vehicle. Copy that. Take your fucking foot off the accelerator. Take it easy, I'm in a rush. What the fuck are you doing? What's up your ass today? ECLA, Empire Classic Radio News. I'm Gary Stevens. More tragic news as we report a grisly murder in Lincoln Park. The remains of Mr. Henry Tomasino, reportedly a struggling entrepreneur who made his way here from Sicily. Remember what you gotta say? Yeah. All right, here we go then. What police spokesmen are describing as the most brutal and... Mr. Angelo? Uh, 
Yes? Mr. Salieri sends his regards. Those guys over there. Shit! Go, go! Let's get the fuck out of here! We got a homicide here. Suspect is armed. This is Agent Cox. We need Copy police that. support in Greenfield. Now, goddammit! Also uncovered when police finally got into the restaurant was an opium den. Those were feds. That asshole really was under protection. And he's famous for conveniently leaving out little details like that. Maybe he didn't know. Don't matter now. We gotta lose him. I went to Chinatown Way back in old Hong Kong To get some egg foo young Oh fuck, that was close. Get me to Kingston, will you? I got a car waiting there. What about the money? Hey, I almost forgot. Eddie paid me in advance, so here's your share. Vito, just tell me what you need. No license plate. <laughs> Do you? No problem. There you go. For a couple of... Thanks, Vito. Appreciate the business. Good luck getting your hair for the money. Come by my place when you're done. Okay, I'll see you later. Coleman Beatty said, Joe, is this man oh. lying? Convict this man, he a drunk. What? This man, he a drunk. What could I do? looking for is that everything sir it was a pleasure copy that
Get out of there. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair. Hey, thanks for coming by. I knew I could count on you. What for? <clears throat> Frank's organizing a sit-down with the other bosses, and he took almost all my guys as bodyguards. So I don't have nobody around to handle this here job for me. Derek, these guys still don't want to work. What? Why? Because of that dead bitch you fired. Hey. Shit. Well, Vito, that other thing will have to wait. Can you help us out here with this first? What's happening? Well, this deadbeat didn't come to work for a whole week. Pretended he was sick. Total bullshit. So I fired his ass. Anyway, some of his buddies are upset, and they're threatening to strike. All I gotta do is show up with a few guys who look like they mean business. That'll scare them, and they'll forget all about it. I give you a thousand bucks. Are you in? All right. I ain't gonna say no to that kind of money. All right. All you need to do is stand behind me and look tough. Right, Steve? We'll see. Fucking guys really think who the fuck they are. This ain't the first time I have problems with them, you know. You wanna know how many of them there is? Three, four, ten. How the fuck should I know? Does it matter? Oh, no, it's just, uh, what are we gonna do to them? All depends on how the, uh, labor negotiations go. Just let me do all the talking. I don't need just opening your mouths and proving how stunard you are. 
So, what's the problem here, fellas? We want you to give Big John his job back. It's me that decides who gets hired and fired around here. And I say he's fired. All we're asking is for you to hire him back. He's got a family. He needs a job. I've made my decision. See, I told you. Easy does it, Vinny. We want to do this Easy. peacefully. We bust our asses day in and day out for this fat fuck. And if anything ever happens to us, he'll screw us over Lower just like your he did voice John. now, young man. I don't want to hear another word about that fucking dead. Who are you calling a deadbeat? A crate fell on the poor guy while he was working. For you, broke both his damn hands. Well, that's his fucking problem, not mine. And I suggest you just get back to work before somebody else's hands get you broke. You goddamn bastard! You fellas are really starting to piss me off. There's no need for violence. Please, put it down. We don't want no trouble. It don't look that way to me. Right now, looks like you got big trouble, don't you? Now, if you all don't want to start looking for new jobs, you'll be back to work in the next ten minutes. You see, Vito, all they do is bitch and moan. Vito? You're Skeletor's boy, ain't you? Why, your dad used to talk about you all the time. You look just like him. But what are you doing working for this bastard? After what he did to your old Shut man? Shut your fucking mouth right now. Don't listen to him, Vito. He's full of shit. Come on, let's go. Full of shit, huh? That bastard killed your father, Vito. What? Ed, just trying to get under your skin. Derek? Hey, stop pointing that gun Why at me. Why don't you ask him how your dad drowned Trap. that night? We seen him take a walk with Steve. And then Steve come back alone. And all wet. Stop pointing that thing at me. What the hell happened with my father, Derek? Are you nuts or what? Who are you gonna trust, me or these now unemployed losers? We known each other for a long time, Vito. Think of all Why the things. Were you thing all wet, Steve? You dive in and try to save him because he wouldn't stay underwater. Come on, shut! Vito, you swore an oath. I was there. Our loyalty to the family is greater than to our own families. Tell that to my mother. <sighs> Should I kill him? No, not here. We'll settle things with him later. You disappoint me, Vito. You really do. I'm gonna do a hell of a lot more than disappoint you, Derek. Your dad. Not right now. I gotta get that fuck before he runs away. Time to teach that fat fuck a lesson. Vinny, where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. Okay, the odds are even. Now let's teach that fat fuck a lesson. All right, follow me, guys. This is crazy, fellas. You shouldn't be doing this. Vito can handle himself. Some extra firepower ain't gonna hurt. Let's go, Vito. We got your back. You're gonna end up just like your old man. I never trusted you from the moment I saw you. Vito, you're making the biggest... 
biggest mistake of your life. <clears throat> I spent my whole life trying not to make the same mistakes my own uh, uh, Then I find out I'm following in his footsteps. It was good to finally know the truth, though. And Derek's death also helped me resolve another problem. Whoa, looks like I just found Derek's retirement funds. Hey Vito, we can take things from here. What about the cops? Yeah, they might be a problem, but anyone who saw it will swear we did it in self-defense. You were never here. All right. Good luck then. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. What the heck? Uh, uh.
I got more bullets than you do, boy. I get it wrong. Dispatch, we are in pursuit of a suspect. Copy that. Excuse me, sir. Hello, sir. Come in. Please, sir. You can't bring a gun in here. Go on, get out. Please, don't do it. Please. Joe wasn't home. At first I thought he was just running a little late, so I went to grab something to eat. Two hours later, Joe still wasn't home. It was getting dark, and I was getting worried. I had to go look for him. Maybe Joe checked in with Eddie at the Falcon.
to break some news for those of you with friends and family working down on the docks. What began as a peaceful labor strike has turned to violence, with reports of rioting and gunfire coming from the port. Now, kids, details are still a little sketchy, but one eyewitness has claimed that the violence was triggered by larger-than-life union boss Federico Papalardo's unfair labor practices. <laughs> well, it looks like that policy kind of backfired, <laughs> literally. More news when we have it in the ECNR newsroom. Until then, I'm rocking Ricky Fox on Empire Central Radio. Vito, good, you're here. You, uh, you hear what happened? Wow, what's going on? Henry's dead. What? The fucking chinks hacked into death in broad daylight. Well, why? So you don't know anything about it. Well, uh, Henry wanted to bring me in on some deal, but I passed. What happened? Yeah, well, Henry is, well, was stupid. He was dealing dope with the tongs. He knew this was off limits and he got caught. Carlo let him off with a small fine and told him he'd forget about it. But the chinks double-crossed Henry and hacked him to pieces in the middle of the park. Shit. Ain't no doing business with the yellow man. But there's worse. Henry wasn't working alone. Yesterday, some guys massacred a shitload of the chinks over in Chinatown. Now they figure it must have either been us or Vinci. They already started threatening Vinci. If this don't get settled fast, we're all in deep shit. You sure you don't know nothing about it? Not a thing, Eddie, I swear. Yeah? How about Joe? Joe? Joe was with me last couple days. Well, you're lucky then. Carlo's out of town right now, but when he gets back, <laughs> it ain't gonna be pretty. No shit. You better not be shitting me, Vito. Let's try Giuseppe next. He keeps his ear to the ground. Oh, my love, hurry back. 
like I am yours Return to me Hey, Giuseppe, I'm looking for Joe Barbro. Was he here today? Ah, no, Vito. Yeah, Joe came by today. Great, I've been looking for him the whole day. Did he say where he was heading? Well, no, he didn't. I don't think he know himself. How come? Well, he was looking for a job, but before we managed to finish our conversation, a few guys came and took him away. What? Who? It was Vinci's people. They said Mr. Vinci wanted a word with him. You know where they would have went? No, lo so. Maybe to the bar, the Mona Lisa. Shit. Is there something wrong? Not sure. Let's just say we're not on the best of terms with Mr. Vinci these days. Yeah, Joe didn't look too happy. I got a bad feeling about this. I better go find out what's going on. I hope it's nothing serious. Buona fortuna, Vito. Vito. Always a pleasure, Vito. Solo tu, solo tu, mio and maybe I won't kill you. Hi, fellas. Look at the balls on this guy. Nice to see you, too. Don't move a muscle. Come on. Listen to the friendly bartender and stop fucking around, Vito. Now, first of all, I gotta ask you to slowly toss your guns on the floor. No funny business, neither. The bartender's got the itchiest trigger finger in town, huh? I'm not armed. Okay, so what are you doing here, Vito? We wasn't expecting you. I'm looking for Joe Barbaro. I heard some of your guys picked him up. Eh, yeah, maybe. What are you trying to pull? Me and Joe didn't do nothing to you. Mr. Vinci doesn't seem to think so. He wanted a few things explained to him. So that's what Joe is doing. And since you've stopped by, why don't we go and join them? Now what if I don't want to? These guns say you do. But don't worry. It's got a hell of a view. Ah. Uh. Hey, what's up, Joe? The assholes went to take a leak. <sighs> Great. Well, can you explain to me why the fuck we're here? That old fuck Vinci can't see what's going on right in front of his face. And he thinks I can explain it to him. Idiot. Oh, the happy couple is here already. Welcome, Vito. What's going on? You got no reason to treat us like this. No reason? No reason? First, the business with Leo. 
And then all hell breaks out in the city. The chinks, they're going nuts. Everybody's fighting like lunatics. And now, those yellow bastards are threatening to kill me. It's out of fucking control. Now, I'm too old for this shit, so you're gonna tell me what the hell's going on here. Come on, I'm all ears. Mr. Vinci, look, I don't know what the hell's going on here. Believe me, me and Joe ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't what I wanna hear. Yeah, well, that's your problem, because we don't know shit about any of this. That's too bad. Finally, we don't got much time. We gotta do something. All right, we'll try to break the pipe. Come on, help me out, I can't do it by myself. Okay. One, two, three! One, two, three! Again! One, two, three! Fuck this, I'm out of here.
gas wipe. You go first. I'll cover you. Where the fuck you think you're going? Come here! This should be the way out. Oh! <gasps> 
ass over here, Vito. Vito, they fucked me up pretty good. I think I need a doctor. Okay, let's get you over to El Greco.
kids, save that dime next time you want to call your main squeeze, because pretty soon, <coughs> you just may be able to do it on the go. That's right, weighing in at around 80 pounds, the prototype auto phone device may one day enable you to make a telephone call from the company of your own four-wheel vehicle. <laughs> now, I, I certainly hope that this is true, kids, because uh, after all, fellas, our poor wives have enough difficulty driving as it is. <laughs> What's next? A, a washing machine in the car? <laughs> I, I shudder to think of the destruction that would be caused if they were all driving around while talking on the telephone. <laughs> A word to the wise ladies, don't dial and drive. For Empire Central Radio, this is Rockin' Ricky Fox. <laughs> That'll be out of the way. Good evening, gentlemen. Oh, what happened to you? Hey, Doc. I got my ass kicked at... <coughs> I'm coughing up what blood. What is happening today? One of your uh, guys is already here. Uh, Who? His name is Antonio Balsamo. Tony Balls? What happened to him? Somebody messed him up pretty good. Uh, I don't think uh, he's ever going to oh, walk again. What? <laughs> This surprises you? All the blood, uh, all the death. Oh, oh, this is the lifestyle you choose. Uh, eh, One day your luck is bound to run out. Uh, the next time, it could be uh, you. And off with the sermon, Doc. You have time to treat Joe? Yes, but you'll have to wait a minute while I fix Antonio up. That's okay, Doc. All right, come in. Make sure you settle things with Bruno, okay? And Vito, thanks. Sure thing, feel better. side in Midtown, which is owned by Empire Bay Property. <coughs> Six feet tall, 
Dark hair, medium build. Two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Copy that. Six, seven o'clock, eight o'clock, rock. Nine, ten, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, rock. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. Put your strap right so. Join me home. We'll have some fun when the clock strikes one. We're going to rock around the clock tonight. We're going to rock, rock, rock. Rock daylight. We're going to rock, we're going to rock around the clock tonight. When the clock strikes two, three, and four. I need to see Bruno. Got the money? Yeah. Come on in then. You're lucky. We were just about to leave. Good evening. You have the money for me? Or do you wish to extend the deadline? Here it is. <laughs> I have to admit, this is somewhat of a surprise. I heard you boys had some complications. Yeah, we did. I heard that Henry is dead. I'm very sorry to hear that. Isaac, count it. So your little business venture was a success? You got your money, right? Right, right. It's just that the whole city has been turned upside down. The Chinese think the Italians attacked them, so they're going after Vinci. That's not good. Not good. Would that have anything to do with the reason you borrowed this money? Sorry, Bruno. That's none of your business. Uh, thank you, Isaac. It looks like the debt is settled. I don't even know your name. Vito. Vito who? Vito Scaletta. Eh, Scaletta. I knew a Scaletta once. But I must say, you're much better at paying back your debts than he was. His poor wife had to do it for him. So it was you who lent my father the money. <laughs> Your father? Ah, like father, like son. I see you don't approve. But I didn't make him borrow the money, now did I? Just like I didn't make you. If you ever need a loan, you know where to find me. 